your grandpa believes in the existence of the God. Yeah. Grandpa, just tell me where this thing is. It's simple now. I'm going to type things on it. I'll put it on Google. If anybody types your name, Grandpa is sure. Boom! Who is Google? What up, what up, people? Put your boys, Bishop Baboni, your new favorite restaurant. Poka, poka, poka. And guess what? We'll have a gold statue private screening, man. Trust me, you need to see Gold Statue. Gold Statue is everything you need to see. It's the best movie of this year. If you've not seen Gold Statue, just come out on May 17th. It's going to be out in all cinemas across Nigeria. We might be going to international film festivals as well. But trust me, you have so much fun. This movie is from Shola Shobowale by Tadeo Gidon. You know when it's Tadeo Gidon, you don't have any problem. It's Tadeo Gidon. He's a veteran director and you got no problems because we're having so much fun here. The movie is a bam, it's a blast. We have all star started movie, man. Trust me, from Shola Shobowale to name it, just name it. We'll go back to Boy Alinko, we'll go to the Joy Girl, Jeff Hoa. Everybody is here, man. If you're not here, you're missing. You know what? Brothers, we got to go back any day and any time. It's your boy, is the My boy, we are signing out. Myself. Your man package you enter here. Give you rice, give you chicken, give you everything, drink, juice, to oppress people where they are, right? You think that is best about it now? Bro, what's up? What's up? How are you doing now? I'm all, you killed that movie. What was it like acting on that project, Go Statue? Ah, Go Statue, a movie now. A movie anytime, any day. It was, it was a wonderful experience. Wonderful cast, wonderful crew, man. It was great. I don't know working with the great Tadio Guitar. All right, to prison. A what? Elisha prison. So what you're saying is that we should blow up the prison so you can get underneath. Come on guys, 500 million dollars is at stake here. Both of you are going to have to commit a crime and get jail sentence. I reject it over to fear. So um, what was it like acting on this project, Gold Statue? Yeah, um, it, it feels um, amazing to be part of this, you know, project. Why? Because it's Uncle Taddy, one, is. He's, a he's one of those directors, you know, that have proven themselves over time. He's a stakeholder in the industry, and I've, I've had like two outings with him. So, it's like the third one. It's always a pleasure being around him. All right, so let's speak about Good Statue. What was it like acting on this project, Good Statue? It was intriguing. Uh, from the first day I was called, sat down with uh, Uncle T. Uh, he told me his vision for the movie and the storyline. Um, the actors that were going to be involved and then I saw the crew uh, it was it was something what you know give you your time to be in it watching everybody for a very long time so keep on playing when the time comes there you see me that's what Tadio Gido just did so oh uh, I, 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 I'll give God the glory to be part of it yeah Wally who's Wally his name is Samuel Lupin I'm <laughs> your God Good day, boss. How are you doing today? I'm all right, and you? I'm good. All right. So, what was it like acting on this project, Gold Statue? Gold Statue. It was good. In actually, I cannot put it any other way. You know, being Rambo on this one just gave me a whole new dimension to my art, as it were. This is the first time I'm actually playing a convict, and I was able to key into the necessary elements. I required to deliver such. Um, the cast helped me do a good job. The sets also helped my art. It was lovely. It was really lovely doing this. Alright, so what was it like acting on Gold Statue? Hmm. It's a beautiful experience, I must say, yeah. Stein with all the actors in the movie. It's, it's a dream come true, yeah. That's what I'll say because it's a beautiful movie. It's a movie everyone wants to see, you know. It's a movie everyone wants to, to be in, you get me. So I'm really happy to be part of the movie. Good start to you. 
Well, I play the character of Gogo. I think Gogo is the prison antagonist among the uh, criminals in the prison. I'm a kind of warrior in the prison. <laughs> it's a good one. I don't want to say much about it because I want people out there to come to the cinema and watch the movie, then see Gogo for yourself. But all I know, I'm the major antagonist to other prisoners in the prison. Ah, well, Ghost Tattoo is a very good movie. As far as I'm concerned, it's the biggest movie ever shot in Nigeria. I'm happy to be here. And I'm happy to be part of it. Okay, maybe because I've worked with Tadi before, so it was um, it wasn't it wasn't something that I wasn't expecting. You know, um, long hours. You know, um, to, to take to shoot a scene. You know, it's not just a normal take one, take two, and we're done. You know, so it it's, it was an experience. Um, it, it's something that you'd look forward to because you know you're going to learn stuff while at work. You're going to see different things. You're going to see different approaches to to certain things and all that. And yeah, so all in all, I would say it was uh, it was a it was it was worth it. You know, it was worth every every bit of it, every bit of it. Yeah. It's like acting on this movie Gold Start. Wow, it's 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 like um, um, bringing a fish out of a little quantity of water into the stream. I've been Boyalinko for 13 years, and people know me to be this ring barrel cartoonish guy. But I'm on Ghost Tattoo as one of the inmates playing a serious role. So that's another side of me that people don't know that I could be serious in my life. Apart from being in the toilet, you know, sorry. Um, you have to be serious when you are doing the, you know, uh -huh. aside that one. So it's, it's like, just like I'm walking, I'm, I'm enjoying the best part of my life now. It's basically the story of two university graduates in the NYSC year. They have learned something from the history class. That there's, a, there's some kind of gold statue owned that, that used to be the symbol of the success of the Cheshire people. And then they now have about it in class. And the guy goes, it's my grandfather that's the custodian of this thing they're talking about. And then uh, the rest is history. They needed to look for that because they found out that that statue in, in today's money is worth $500 million. Even Tsuji will, Tsuji will not go to Mecca. <laughs> then they'll find you $500 million in front of him. So these boys went on a very mad, very crazy adventure. I mean, the rest of the history, there's a lot of suspense, there's a lot of fun, there's a lot of humor. You know, and uh, it's taking us a while to achieve. It's really, uh, like I say, I do not take credit for this. Uh, everybody, from cast to crew to investors, everybody came together to collaborate on this. And that had been, in fact, the excitement with which everybody came to this is. It's not about the money. For most of the people, it's not. In fact, I, I haven't met anyone that worked on it and was thinking more, uh, how much am I going to get paid? But we tried to be fair. <laughs> because, you know, they would leave other projects and come to ensure that everything goes well. Uh, some of them, I won't mention names, who have, who have experienced how inside the jail works. They say, oh, no, 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 this is the lingo. This is the blah, 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 blah. So, you know, we... we no we, wonder. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> Why are you looking back? What if it is you, that crash? What this is, is the policeman I was collecting bright. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we, we all collaborated on this. Believe me, honest. Uh, we were planning to to show the full movie of this. I haven't met any one person who has seen this, even in segments. They go totally crazy, like, wow. They laugh, they enjoy themselves. The suspense, the suspense is crazy. 
And uh, we're not going to be able to show just so that we don't keep you all sitting and waiting like forever. You can keep also. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and uh, and run this segment. Just have fun and enjoy it. So did you face any challenges at all on set? Yeah, as usual, during the course of any movie, there's, there are challenges everywhere, you know. Just like every other one, these had, you know, had its own moments as well. Especially when we had to wait for the set constructors to get through with the tunnel, you know, with the prison section and all that, it took a lot of time. We've been filming this for over two years now, so you can tell, you should be able to. So what people would get to see in that hall when they sit down they'll be glad to add money to the ticket fee by themselves without us saying anything you understand so that's it all right so did you face any challenges on that set yeah of course like every movie every movie has its own challenge there are a lot of challenges but over the years we're not used to it what people call stress we call it work man we're already always ready to face it it was cool i don't come up for you that man like like you know go chance me tonight i know you i don't tell you say you know go of course, when you have assemblage of almost 60 uh, A-grade actors, you should expect that. But somehow it was well managed because Uncle T was on top of the game and then he had uh, close to perfect hands when you talk about the crew. So we were all tended to, as and at when due. So it kind of like, uh, you know, touched all the free nerves and all that and everybody was everybody you know were calm and ready to like make sure that the project came out well you abandon your home only to end up in Malaysia feasting prisoners I will keep doing it the sister says you have uh, spent inside prisons I pray that you double it no no major challenges <laughs> no ah uncle daddy is a vampire that guy can shoot at night he sh sh shoot as in just when you think it's all done and you're going to lay on your bed and sleep like okay so we're doing this again like ah, vampire i go to sleep so that no my human beings too can sleep now so that was the only challenge basically shooting long hours but you know as we always say in the industry the show must go on so we kept it going on and i'm glad from the little i saw today it wasn't in vain it wasn't in vain challenges no not really no, not really, except just uh, trying to stick to your character. And um, because where we shot, and where the location was, where we shot, and everything, everything was very, very conducive for everybody. You know, we, shot in, we shot in like a studio, so it was, you know, it, like, like, he, like Tadi was saying earlier on, when we were shooting, it's different from what we're seeing, you know, and all that. The prison was made. Everything was, everything was made. The whole set, it was a set. It was made, the prison, the cells, everything, and all that. And, you know, and what, what we saw is not even it's not even the tip of the iceberg. What we just saw is very, very little, you know, because there's a lot of blowing, mind-blowing stuff to see in this movie. Trust me. Um, okay, I would say there's no there's no challenge when it comes to my work because this is what I love doing. This is my core. This is what God ordained me to do. But in some area, there's some movies I will not touch, there's some characters I will not touch. So far, so good. I've not seen any. <laughs> so I'm still going. So we're good. Honestly, at the initial time, after reading the script, seeing the kind of cast, because it's an all-star movie, as far as I'm concerned, seeing the kind of cast on ground, I was like, ha! How am I going to start this? But of course, I'm from Delta, I still have a large heart, so <laughs> I was able to face the hurdles. And it was nice working with Tade Ugidon because, honestly, I must say that he's one of the best directors I've ever worked with. He's calm, the way he handles the artist, he will never put you under pressure. He always makes sure you're okay and you're in your right frame of mind before you work with him. You know? It was awesome, I must say. Hi everybody, my name is Ola Kunle Abounce Fowley and you guys are watching Broadway TV. Stay tuned. This is your boy, world famous family with bad boy, Kevin Ikebuba, CEO of Kevin O'Clock News. Keep watching Broadway TV. Hi guys back there at home, my name is Ricardo Agba and this is a big shout out to Broadway TV. Peace and I'm out. Love you guys. My name is Mary John. I played the role of uh, Aman's girlfriend, one of his girlfriends, Gogo 2. So I played one of his girlfriends, so just 
Watch out for this movie. It's a fantastic movie. You should go out and see it. Yes, what up? This is Gabriel Afolani. I'm an actor and also a singer. Keep watching Broadway TV. Man, I don't mind me. Now, so it is good. Hi, my name is Greg Teddy Bell J4, and you're on the Broadway with Broadway TV. Keep watching. I say so. Boom. My name is uh, Jerry Ockman. I'm an actor here from Delta State. Keep watching Broadway TV. I must say, you guys are doing great. And I'm happy to have you guys right here at the press screening of the movie Ghost Tattoo. Thank you very much. Mark my words. I will personally make sure that your life is miserable in this place. Copper. I'm bonded with the people of something. Yeah. I wish to remain here till my time is up. I am very proud of this boy. I've got this gut feeling that we're going to get that massive goal.